It's my favorite. It's all about the run. Come on now, you can run faster than that. Did you know that I run about 10 k's up and down that finish line every week at triathlon? The best thing for to improve your running is to do some running. I mean, when you go for a run, your body adapts to the pressure it's under. You know, your calves and your quads and, and your hamstrings will get stronger just because of that. The best way to become a good runner is to just really enjoy what you're doing and getting out there every day. In New Zealand, we've got amazing, beautiful hills to make your legs really strong. Train for a run. Uh, set of chevel goals for the start so you can go out, so make sure you don't try and run 20k first run. So go out and have something that you know you can do and then just build it up from there. The most important running technique advice that my coach always gives me is that your arms dictate and control what the rest of your body does. So you want to get your arms in a nice 90 degree fashion so you got, it's like makes a square on both sides and you never change the angle, it's 90 degrees and then the faster your arms move, the faster your legs follow. If you're flailing around like this with your arms, your legs will wobble as well. It's really important in a race to pace yourself. If you start too fast, you often blow up and then the last bit will be really bad. So you want to start off at a comfortable pace where you feel like you're in control and then you can increase. If you start too fast, you, the only way you can go is to get slower. As you get closer to the finish, you can blow up because you're just about to finish, so it's good to you know, give it 100%. Oh, that's a good one. Warming down is uh, very, very important when you've finished uh, any exercise, including running. I have had the stitch on uh, numerous occasions, especially when you uh, eat, you can't eat too much before you go for a run, that's a good tip. I do, I do get the stitch. I, I can't hold on to something um, and just take deep breaths, but I find holding on to something, I run with my watch in my hand or a hanky and it seems to work. But if it does happen in a race, what you want to do is do heavy breathing and focus on tensing your abdominal muscles and maybe you can push in a couple of really quick times and it might go away or dissipate.